What's up, everybody? Welcome back to The Civic for another episode of After the Previews Reacts. Tonight, I'm reacting to the latest installment in the car porn franchise, Fast and the Furious. Fate of the Furious. Fast and the Furious number eight? Yeah, Fate eight. Fate of the Furious. That's, that's what's going on. My God, this movie... <laughs> It's fucking fun. I'm not gonna. I, I can't lie. I had a fun time in the theater. I went with. I went with Garrett. We both saw it. He'll have his reaction video later on, probably. Um, I. It was a fun time. We laughed at the movie a lot. I, there were some parts of it where we weren't sure if it, if this was um, if they're changing genres and this was just now a comedy, but uh, it was. It was exa I think it goes without saying that uh, eight movies into this franchise, I think it goes without saying that you have to go in knowing that you're watching a fucking Fast and the Furious movie. Uh, so going in knowing that I was watching a Fast and the Furious movie, this movie's still pretty bad. Like <laughs> really, like it's fucking bad. The the shit that honestly, there's there's so much there's so much wrong with this movie that it's really hard to to pinpoint what I think is the worst. I'm gonna just talk about the things that stood out to me most. And I'll try, I'll try to avoid spoilers, but I honestly, like, I think you've seen it all in the trailers, really. Uh, you, uh, cars chase each other, some of them fall out of buildings, some of them fucking, uh, you know, get blown up by a, a submarine. You've seen it all. There, there really aren't any surprises in this movie, except for one. Uh, the one surprise that I really actually did respect was um, the 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 thing at the end. You'll you'll know exactly what I'm talking about because it is actually a, a like it's worthy of it's worthy of mentioning that it was a good surprise. I didn't see it coming. I had no idea. I, I mean, like I kind of had an idea earlier on, but there's just so much other dumb shit going on in the movie that you just kind of forget about the theories that you have and you just get lost in the oh my god what the fuck is happening so uh yeah that surprise at the end totally that was kind of cool uh does not save the movie whatsoever i'm not i don't want to lead you guys the wrong way and make you think that something at the end makes this whole movie worth watching if you're not already oh fuck if you're not already invested in watching a fucking fast and the furious movie you're not gonna enjoy this one. It, it's bad. I'm not like, I, I'm not lying to you guys. It, it is a bad movie. The, the, in the ver in the very beginning, um, there's a scene with fucking The Rock, Luke Hobbs. Um, there's a scene with him, and it's so obvious that they're gonna do some like corny, goofy, like misdirection kind of joke with it. But basically, he's like screaming like a motivational speech at people and it's just only his face is the only thing you can see and you can only hear him there's no background noise or anything so it's like okay obviously they're gonna they're gonna mislead us here what is it he's like coaching fucking oh yep yep he's coaching his daughter's soccer team exactly it's fucking the rock dude like it's it's such a rock joke to make so that was kind of obvious and like the scene it wasn't just one joke it was a whole like pretty long scene there was like a dance number involved like the shit was weird dude i i literally forgot what movie i was watching for a couple seconds i was like wait the fuck's going on oh right fast and the fear why is this fast and the fear what so that was weird uh charlie's theron her character was um a cliche <laughs> of what of what the whole world thinks hackers are they just tell their computer to do things that we think are impossible and the computer does it and really she wasn't even hacking like her, she's not the hacker her, fucking her, her people are the hacker and i don't know she's just telling other people to do shit for her there's this asian guy i don't even know if they give you his name throughout the entire movie you see him a few times but he's the one who's actually doing the hacking for this fucking cypher character that charlie's theron is playing don't get me wrong her character I, I was fucking awful, but, uh, you know, I, I believed it. Uh, not really. <laughs> I, man, it's hard, it's hard to do this, because, like, I really respect Charlie Theron as an actress, so I gotta wonder, like, what made her want to do a Fast and the Furious. I, she's gotta be low on money or something, to be honest. Like, this was such a bad role. Like, it, th this was a bad movie. <laughs> um, oh, oh, 
one of the things that she tells her little hacker boy to do uh, is fucking take over every car within like a thousand meters or a thousand yards of this fucking car that's rolling through New York. So, okay, I, I get it, like hacking the computer systems in a car, but like you can't auto drive a car that's old as fuck. Like these things shifting. Someone please correct me if I'm wrong too, because I don't want to be that asshole, but I'm pretty sure that shifting is not electronic. Um, but I mean, maybe in newer cars, shifting is electronic, but they, they were taking over some like pretty like, you know, middle 2000s cars where our computers, the most, ex the most advanced computer in the fucking Prius was what? The, the gas. <laughs> so I don't know, man. Like it, there was, again, that's, that's literally two things. That's two things for me. The whole movie was littered with shit like this that was just like, dude, this doesn't make any sense. Like, and again, like, I, I know, you guys know, I'm the guy who goes into movie theaters and thinks way too much about the movie I'm watching. But this was a Fast and the Furious movie. I knew I didn't need to do that. Like, I knew, don't think about it. Just don't, just let it all go, man. Like, it's it's dumb. It, it's a dumb movie. It's not gonna be smart. And they're, they're, they didn't think anything through. They literally didn't think anything through in this one. They fucking, I mean, I joked with Garrett on the way into the theater. Like he was like, "Oh, you ready to see some cars get crushed or like get smashed or something?" I was like, "Yep, ready to see some butts shake," because they do it in every Fast and the Furious movie. The movie opens. The opening scene isn't even characters that we know or recognize. It's just butts shaking and cars in fucking Cuba. It's it's so bad. So. This movie, I gotta, I gotta say, out of ten, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it like a four point eight, maybe like a five two at the highest. But no, it's not even that high. I'm gonna give it like a four two to four eight at the most. This movie was bad. So that's been after the previews reacts. Uh, I'm your host Kyle. Check it out on Facebook um, after the previews. And go throw us a like. You're already there, though. You're watching this video, so... Uh, you, unless you're on YouTube, so that's awesome. If you're not on YouTube, definitely subscribe to us. It's uh, YouTube.com, uh, After the Previews Podcast. And then Facebook, if you're on YouTube, it's uh, Facebook.com slash After the Previews. Throw us a like. Uh, yeah, shut off your cell phones. <laughs>